video, we will tackle Actorial. So in this video, we're focused in identifying the notation used for factorial, what is factorial, and how are we going to evaluate and simplify numbers with factorial notation. So if you're excited to know these things, let's begin our discussion. Factorial was introduced in the early 1800s by Christian Crump, who is a French mathematician. The notation used for factorial is an exclamation point. This notation symbolizes or it represents a multiplication operation, meaning if you have a non-negative integer with this notation, it only means that for you to evaluate and simplify that notation, you have to get the products of all the consecutive decreasing non-negative integers. So factorial is denoted by n factorial, where n is any non-negative integers. So for you to understand how to evaluate factorial notation, let's have examples. For example number one, we have 7 factorial. So for us to simplify 7 factorial, we just have to get all the products from 7 until 1 because these are the numbers in decreasing manner and these are all non-negative integers. So if you have this one, we just have to multiply all the numbers from 7 until 1. That means we have 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is equal to 5040. Meaning 7 factorial is equal to 5040. This is the final answer. Next example, we have 4 factorial times 2 factorial. So in order for us to simplify this one, we have to list first the numbers of 4 factorial. So we have to multiply 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. After doing that, we're now going to proceed to 2 factorial. So we have 2 times 1. And then get the product of all the numbers that we have here. So if we have that, 4 factorial times 2 factorial is simply 48. We have more notations that we have to bear in mind. If we have 0 factorial, the answer is not 0. The answer is always equal to 1. And if you have 1 factorial, it's also equal to 1. Now let's have more example for you to master how to evaluate numbers with factorial notation. Now let us evaluate more factorial notation. We have the first example, 8 minus 2 factorial. So in this example, we have to subtract first 2 from 8. There we have 6 factorial. And then let us expand 6 factorial. We have 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And then let's multiply all these numbers. We have 6 factorial is equal to 720. Here's another example. We need to get the quotient of 4 factorial times 3 factorial and 2 factorial. So the first step here is we need to copy the denominator. We have 2 factorial in the denominator. And then let us expand 4 factorial. We have 4 times 3 times 2 factorial. Why did I stop with 2 factorial? It is because it would be easy for me to eliminate 2 factorial in the numerator and in the denominator. By doing so, you will have less time in writing the numbers. And then let us proceed to expanding 3 factorial. We have times 3 times 2 times 1. Now that we have this one, let us eliminate 2 factorial in the denominator and in the numerator leaving us with 4 times 3 times 3 times 2 times 1. The answer is equal to 72. Now, let us discuss the last example. We have here 5 minus 1 factorial minus 3 factorial divided by 
7 minus 4 factorial. So our first step here is we need to simplify the numbers inside the parentheses. So let us subtract 5 and 1 here. And then 5 minus 1, that is equal to 4, and then just copy factorial. And then just copy minus 3 factorial. And then for the denominator, we have to subtract 4 from 7, that is equal to 3. And then just copy the factorial notation. Now let us expand or evaluate this factorial notation. So first we need to expand 4 factorial or rewrite that in this form. We have 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And then you also have to do the same with 3 factorial. Expand 3 factorial. We have 3 times 2 times 1. And then do the same with the denominator. We have 3 factorial and that is 3 times 2 times 1. Now we're ready to simplify this one. Let us multiply all the numbers inside the parentheses. We have 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, that is equal to 24. And then just copy minus, and then let's multiply 3 times 2 times 1, that is equal to 6. And for the denominator, we also have to multiply all these numbers. We have the denominator is equal to 6. And then simplify further, we have 24 minus 6. That is equal to 18, and then just copy the denominator. And then to get the final answer, we have to divide 18 by 6, and that is equal to 3. And this is the final answer. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. If you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to update you on my next video.